what is up fellas JPS delivers here NCAA football 2004 it's been a while since playing this playing with Hawaii Dynasty going up against UNLV in Las Vegas again that's the University of Nevada in Las Vegas able to beat USC earlier this year it was like one of the shittiest looking games but we got it done I felt like it you know You'd kind of think Hawaii would come on through and score 40, 50 points in a shootout and barely squeak one through to win a game. But it was like 13-3, to 13-6. I don't think USC had a single touchdown. It was a great defensive performance. Even though uh, it's quite getting used to coming back to this game. My apologies for being, you know, having a break with this one. Um, but as you can tell, things are a little shaky to uh, start the game off on defense. There's Mr. Rebel right there. I have no clue what his fucking name is. If any of you know his name, put it in the chat. Put a comment down. Tell me who it is. I'm sure it's a cool ass name. Flexion right there. A flag on the plate. Man, this, this game, I know it's, we talk about the Oakland Raiders being a team in the NFL notorious for having a ton of penalties. Well, so be it. Now that they're in Las Vegas, this happens to be the game, another game in Las Vegas in which we get a shit ton of penalties on both teams. Speaking of penalties, another face mask. I mean, dude, it just, stay out of the face, stay out of the face, but that neither team gets the memo. No penalty on this one, more so just a penalty caused by a sack. This offensive line just did not do too well in this game. And just a terrible pass right there by the Rebels. Coach is just pumped up. I mean, the, the one thing he needs to work on is, uh, you know, changing up his celebrations. It seemed like he just did the double clap. And then uh, he did some, you know, like as if someone just got served and put his fucking hands forward. I have no clue, but a sick juke move by wide, number, uh, wide receiver number 87. Cool thing about this Hawaii team, and it kind of figures, is that, uh, well, also too about the game, there's a shit ton of impact players. I mean, both sides of the ball. But really, though, it seems like almost every single playmaker on this offense is an impact player, especially wide receiver number two. And the cool thing about this game is that with him being the best rated wide receiver, we've also noticed that uh, he was a slot wide receiver back in the day, apparently. And uh, they just kept him at slot wide receiver. That's a drop pass in the end zone. That sucks. But however, though, even if he would have caught it, wasn't going to go. This one right here, I mean, I don't know if he would... Maybe the running back just lost focus because the video game's like, fuck it. Who gives a shit if this running back catches this pitch right here? Look at that. I mean, he's wide open on that play. Maybe he just didn't catch it because it took away any bit of awareness on the field besides, you know, just being happy that there was a fucking touchdown. But that play would have that play would have been under review in real life. Let's let's be honest. Had it been a messy ass play, but end of the first, seven to zero. Not too too much successful offense so far in this game. Again, I'm trying to stop this team, and you get these fucking tackles. It's a one yard run, man. And you got to deal with these dudes getting these face masks. Fortunately, only five yards. But, unfortunately, for UNLV, wide open wide receiver on that corner route. Um, it's a shame that that's the case. But I've noticed with my controller, I don't know if I need a new one. That's a fucking messy play as well. And another face mask. I mean, let's count the penalties. How many is that so far? Five or six total between both teams? That's just... And it's only going to, like, you know, I think it's going to double, triple by the end of this game. It's pretty nuts. I don't know what the deal is with the sliders. Um, I make the penalties, you know, full 10 out of 10, just to be realistic. And, you know, if there's pass interference, there's pass interference. Well, here you go, holding on the offensive line. I thought that was a touchdown. Turns out not to be. Still, hey, we're up by 7. But let's make it 14, baby. Beautiful play by the impact player himself. I almost fuck up. No touchdown celebrations. This is, you know, this is college. That ball is going to get taken back 15 fucking yards for an extra point. Which, uh, you know, according to the likes of Dan Bailey, we really just don't know if a guy's going to make an extra point, especially 15 yards further away from the goalpost. But a nice touchdown anyways. Getting the passing going quite a bit in this half. That, yeah, that dude's fucking charged up. Nice sack on the play for the defense. But then, well, no, fortunately, no. There you go. First down for us. Well, third down now at this point. But nice catch by wide receiver number four, another impact player. The running back's even an impact player in this offense. And this is most air raid as it comes. I don't know if Pete Jones is the coach at this time. But I'm pretty sure Colt Brennan 
might be a freshman at this point. Uh, this is not Colt Brennan throwing the football, but um, for the most part, nice catch right there. And uh, I thought that was going to be a face mask if you just saw the mannerisms of the tackle. Should have thrown it to wide receiver number four, but who am I to say this? Another fucking face mask. It doesn't make a lick of difference. You know, in the end zone, I don't know. What, are you going to kick it from the fucking backdrop? I don't know. It's just stupid. And speaking of stupid, just bad defense. And then another face mask. Another fucking face mask. This shit's fucking outrageous, y'all. We're only halfway through this. Well, not even halfway through this game. Not even halfway through this game. That should have been picked off had I reacted. Probably about a fourth of a second earlier. I should have picked that one off. You got, uh, like, look at that shit. Holding, it looked like it looked like a fucking face mask in the background. It's gonna work out for us since that wasn't a first down, and then some more. Nice one-handed grab. That was low-key good one-handed grab. And now fourth and eleven, just pulls us out of his ass. More so, well, the quarterback. That defense. Ugh, my pursuit has been bad in this game, and it's trying to you know just figure out the difference between speed and well sprint and switching your players in this game. Run no huddle. 17 seconds to go in the second quarter. UNLV quarterback stepping back. Mirror just got a migraine headache, a.k.a. concussion, for their starting quarterback. But, dude, again, what is with... This is, this is too much impact players right here. It's another set of quarterbacks being impact players. And then this shit happens. We had this play dead to right. And then that shit happens. I mean, it's not even... It's not even an out at that point. That guy is just running around. He probably started off on the left side of the field. It's going to be seven points. 21-7. to seven. UNLV gets the ball first since we received. And then another sack on the play. Now third and 15. Going to do a play action. Forcing enough. Getting that stop three yards short of the first down. What can we do on offense this time around? We're going to fuck up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fuck up. Interception thrown. Didn't need to force it. You're up by two touchdowns. No reason to dick around with that. And then another... Just look at this shit. That's a force. But fortunately enough, this team is able to fumble the living shit out of it. I don't know why these fumbles are fun. It's not even like Madden to where it's like an arcade forcing you to just like see a bunch of shit that would make you, you know, have a fucking seizure if you're epileptic. But... I do enjoy this game. This is a fun game. Six completions in a row. Offense seems to low-key have a decent amount of momentum, even though they're not getting first downs. We'll see what they have to do for the rest of the drive. 206 yards on the season. I think UNLV has played only two games, so he's got a nice average yards per game. Nice tackle right there by the safety. And then play action. Another sack. It's just this offensive line was struggling all day. Speaking of struggling, was being able to run the ball, but it's Hawaii. What should we expect at this point? Third quarter. Less than a minute to go. What can the quarterback do? It's going to be incomplete. Just barely out of bounds on the reception. I guess I should say lack of a reception. And then psh, just a poorly thrown ball. And stupid judgment. I just wanted to go for it to have more time with the offense because it felt like this half barely had the ball. Another penalty of face mask. What is going on? I might have to change the slider specifically for this game. It's been crap. It is what it is. Still up by three touchdowns. It did say before the game that Hawaii was right on the cusp of top 25. Nice deflection on that play. Now fourth and six. What can UNLV do? Big fourth down. They get it. They convert it. And then on first and goal, they're going to get it in. For a nice touchdown run, there's our man right there. I don't care if he's the other team's mascot. He's cool as fuck. But that's going to cut the lead down to 15. Going to be 14 with the extra point. Nice rush by the impact player at running back for this UNLV team. And then on third down, just uh, just, just taking yards as I can for the best of field position. Nice punt return on that one. Drop pass, though. Third and 10. UNLV is moving and grooving until that sack. Now fourth and 18. Less than three minutes to go. Quarterback going to throw it in the flat. And it's going to be a turnover for Miami Ball. Nice first down right there. Again, what's more Hawaii than passing the ball and short passing plays in order to keep the clock running at the end of a game? Nice run right there, but a couple uh, timeouts called. 
incomplete pass. The accuracy was a little bit down in this second half. I mean, this team was passing the ball extremely well, nearly 200 yards in the first half. Offense was just off the field quite a bit. I'd have to say the momentum was shot big time. And UNLV, speaking of momentum, look at that. Only 18 passing yards in the second half. I think only two completions as well. It's pretty insane. Offside on the defense as that no huddle caught us off guard. And then, nice completion. Is it going to be a touchdown? God, that safety did his best to try to allow one, but not going to be the case. And then, deflection by the star cornerback number three. We're going to probably have to see him quite a bit later on. That, oh man, that could have easily been a pick six. But it went six points the other way. 12-point swing. Now the end of this game. Able to get the, the onside kick. And that was a very, very terrible second half for this Hawaii team. I'm looking forward to this team for the most part. Just their offense should be fun. I'm trying to just find a good balance between the running back and the uh, rest of the offense. But I'm looking forward to it. Also, NBA starts tonight, fellas. Take it easy.